take out its head on the road to recovery, bud here. Certainly feeling a little bit better. Probably haven't spoken this loud for some time, actually, several days. Today I've got an episode of Running Shoe Yay or Nay for you. Four forthcoming shoes. Am I going to pick them up for review or not? Is it going to be a yay or a nay? Thanks for tuning in people, always appreciated. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up like as well and also share this video with your running buddies. Thanks all of you that have given me some good vibes recently. I haven't been feeling at all well. I think I've got over the worst of it now. No running or videos for four or five days. I'm feeling really terrible. Do have some medication now on the way back. So hopefully you can get out there very soon. Thanks to all of you that showed some concern and sent me your best wishes. It is very appreciated. Let's get into the yay or nay for today. This isn't me saying that these shoes are brilliant or they're terrible. It's simply whether I'm going to pick them up for review or not. It could be that another shoe tuber might do them more justice. It might be that there's one here that I think particularly will fit in well into the rotation. Let's get to it. Shoe number one. So shoe number one is the Puma Fast R Nitro Elite. So it looks like these are set for a release relatively soon by all accounts. They popped up on a few retail sites here in the UK. Let's hope it's a wider release across several different countries as well. There's a cocktail like slush puppy of an upper complete with this strange almost medieval protrusion in the heel. Apparently it's to provide some structure to the heel. It could be like a deterrent for people to run too close to you I suppose. You could lift your heel up and get them. Now I I used to think there was a two foam formula in this shoe which was the nitro elite foam and the standard nitro foam on the main website there it does suggest it's just the nitro elite foam so who knows an eight mil drop and the obligatory carbon plate Hey, it's such a characterful shoe, this one. It's almost impossible not to want to review it at some point. It does look as if they're available for pre-order at Start Fitness right now. Just looking at this shoe again, guys, it's such an amazing design. It's something I just can't pass up. So if the opportunity is there to pick one of these up, I certainly will do. It's a yay for the Puma Fast R Nitro Elite, especially in that colorway as well. That is amazing. Fruit salad. Second shoe up today is from ASICS. It's the third iteration of a very in-demand shoe. I've received countless requests for a review of the Nova Blast 3. People love the version 1 and 2 and it looks as if they're very interested in the 3. Does it live up to the previous history? I think it's officially out now in the UK, all over different retailers. They seem to all have them in stock. Clearly a hot footwear favourite release. An 8mm drop in the ASICS Nova Blast 3, so the same as the previous version. There's a huge range of colours as well, like the black and amber, the safety yellow and black, along with the fetching Midnight and New Leaf. I like that one. A foam switch up to either excite or worry some long-time users of the shoe. They've added the plus to the Flight Foam Blast, so that means it's more like the Nimbus 24 that I tested out a little while back. That one had a lot of squash to it. It was a little bit more response, I suppose. It didn't just sort of squash and completely give way. So it might mean that the shoe's a little bit more capable of some higher paced work. This one could be a higher stack version of that Nimbus 24, and of course, gelless as well. I never thought ASICs would go completely gelless, but it looks like they are. I really love the profile on the Nova Blast 3, I have to say, and to think people thought it was a mock-up when I first covered it on the channel months back. So it's a definite yay for the ASICs Nova Blast 3. Loads of people interested in that one. Shoe 3. The Solomon Index 01 is an odd shoe. I'm sure I've covered it before a while back, but a viewer's asked me to cover it again, so I'm doing what the viewers want. It does appear to be a more general release, this one. It's on lots of other retail sites, aside from just Solomon's own website. Though I think it with that £165 price tag, it's going to put a few people off. It's pretty high. This isn't like a race shoe or anything, which kind of perplexes me as to who's going to pick it up for that amount. It does appear to have a massive cushion here, but I don't think it's much more than about 29 millimeters in the heel. I think it is a TPU-like midsole material here, so it's nothing sort of new or particularly groundbreaking, I suppose, aside from the fact that all of the materials in the shoe can be separated up and recycled individually. I think the Solomon Index 01 is a bit of an odd one to actually try and categorize. I think they're pricing themselves out of that sort of daily shoe market Unless you're thinking about the Invincible Run, maybe the Tempo Next Percent, the Speed 3. I don't think this one's going to sort of add anything new that those shoes don't have. Perhaps with a more limited use case, 
than some of those others that I've just mentioned. I don't think it's really a race shoe, a bit more on the weighty side. Bit of a hard sell for this one right now, unless you're seriously invested in recycling, which we should all be really. Now I still tip my hat to Solomon for the thought. It's a nay on the Solomon Index 01. Shoe 4. Another corker here, the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Elite version 3. I've particularly enjoyed all of the Elite series New Balance shoes over the last couple of years. The V1 was smashing, best outsole yet. The V2 over my shoulder here was a super cushioned cruiser. This is an amazing fresh TCS New York City Marathon version. What a great looking shoe guys. It really is a pleasure to the eyeballs. That electric red and cobalt style, extremely nice and absolutely one I'd like to test in the near future on release. Though it may be a way off yet, I don't think this one's slated for release until mid-October, and that's in the US, so it might be even later here in the UK, unless they rush one out for the London Marathon very soon. Super low weight of 228 grams and sample size, with a return to the upper design that wasn't look all that dissimilar to the original Fuel Cell Rebel that we saw back in 2019. Sounds a really long time ago that. Looks like New Balance are using those midsole cutouts as a method to further enhance the return of the compression of the foam and also lighten the load underneath the foot for those marathon escapades. So this one comes in at $250, so that works out about 215 Earth credits, so it's right in that sort of bracket, isn't it? Although sometimes New Balance shoes do seem to come in a bit higher I know the SC Trainer is 210, so maybe this one would be a little bit more, 220, 225. A 4 mil drop here might put a few people off. I know people like a slightly higher drop for their race shoe sometimes, but this red and blue beauty has to be tested out. It really is a wondrous looking shoe. So it's a yay from me for the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Elite version 3. What do you make of the four shoes in today's yay or nay? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. I've been making this video in a few steps because I'm pretty worn out and tired. I've not really had an awful lot of sleep this week. And as I was having a bit of a rest and a cup of green tea a few moments ago, some parcels arrived. And guess what we got? The Nova Blast 3 from ASICS has arrived for testing. So I only included this in the yay or nay earlier on. Here it is. Going to test it out very soon. Hopefully I can get back out there once I've regained some of my strength that I've lost this week. It's mainly eating really. I haven't been able to eat very much or sleep. Certainly smells good, and that foam does feel a little bit more firm and responsive, I suppose. So maybe a slightly more energetic and propulsive ride, perhaps, than the version 2. We shall soon find out. If you've been testing this one out this week and picked it up, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. There's another one as well. I didn't know this was coming. I really did not, and I could not be any more excited. Well, well. Look at that. What a shoe. It's even more crazy than I thought. That is insane. What a colorway as well. That rocks. I love it. It's kind of like a fruit salad colorway, as I thought. It looks exactly like that in hand. Insane. I can't believe these two have arrived. Literally straight after the A or no. I'll be getting these on foot very soon for you guys, so hold tight. Musical interlude time. While I've been on my sort of sick bed, I've been watching loads of music videos and stuff to try and keep me occupied and stave off the sort of sickness and the boredom. One such video is from 2019, a high part performance from Status Quo. Sort of energised performance this one, loads of the old classic tunes and a few new Quo tracks thrown in for good measure. They've got a few new members of the band as well. Sadly old Rick Parfit passed away a few years back, didn't he? They've got a new chap in there and he's absolutely fantastic. The two guitars work really well together and the rest of the band just gel. It just sounds so good. Every single tune just sounds like a masterclass in rock and roll. Can't believe that back in the 90s and stuff, I think the BBC banned status quo because they, they were like too old fashioned or something. What the hell was that all about? Totally bizarre. I wish they banned some of the music that's on there now. It's trash compared to the quo. Go and check this one out guys, I'll put a link in the description for that one. Status Quo, live at Hyde Park 2019. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of today's video and this week guys, I appreciate all your support in the comments over on the members and community section of the channel. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications below. Give this video a thumbs up, like and also share it with your running buddies. My name is Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.